Now, we all remember the riots of 2011. From what began as a protest after Mark Duggan's death in Tottenham, unrest quickly spread, didn't it, right across the capital and other cities in the UK. Over the course of a few days in August that year, London was burnt, looted and vandalised. One man's insight into the riots has been made into a documentary, but I think many of us are still trying to fully understand why not just criminal and gang members took part, but also law-abiding citizens. British filmmaker Fahim Alam has first-hand experience of those riots because he was wrongly arrested, remanded and then electronically tagged. His film, Riots Reframed, looks to bring the emotions of 2011 right back into the public arena. Uh, delighted to say he joins me now in the studio. Good evening to you. Good evening. Uh, clearly you're a British Asian. What happened to you on the night of the riots? I was arrested on the 8th of August um, and spent two days in the police cell. Uh, was taken to prison. After that, I spent six weeks and then, as you said, six months on tag. What had you been doing that night? Uh, so I was at work that day, I was going to my grandmother's, uh, stopped to see what was going on. Uh, the police chased me down uh, and arrested me. And where was all this happening? This was in Hackney. I grew up in Hackney. And were you like an innocent bystander? You'd gone out to have a look? Yeah. Okay. They took you into custody. What was that experience like? Um, I think, uh, you know, because I come from a, a space of privilege and I was able to get bail eventually and I was only there for six weeks. It wasn't too bad. To me, I can call it an experience, but for so many others who face prison on a, on a daily basis, it's, it's not the same. Um, but I found an incredible solidarity between prisoners. Um, the, the prison guards, the usual is to be expected from them. Uh, but prison is a brutal system you know to me it's torture locking somebody away taking away th their freedom um, and it's 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 nothing more than that you know so it's it's a terrible terrible place to have been um, but you know I'd like to highlight that there are so many people and we live in a, a prison industrial complex you know currently in the west that's in America and here um, privatized prisons are on the rise so people make money from them and it's the same groups of people that eventually go to prison. It's the working class, the poor, black and brown people. But when you were in there, I'm going to call it this bubble, the riots period. You must have found yourself in there with other people, what, in a similar situation, perhaps caught up, wrongly accused? Yeah, well, I think we have to look at who's in prison generally. So uh, a lot of people in prison are on remand. They haven't been sentenced yet, so they're waiting. So technically they're innocent. So we've got a lot of innocent people being locked up. Secondly, it's poor people, working class people, who uh, so crimes of necessity. So the amount of murderers and rapists and so on and so forth is very low. In terms of people involved in the riots, yeah, there were a lot of people in there. And just, just not generally uh, innocent people, even if they weren't innocent, the, the kind of sentences they were getting and the kind of trauma they were facing having going through this prison system uh, was terrible in itself. You know, we don't need to look at the innocent people. It's, it's, it's the guilty people as well that I'd, I'd like to say I'm supporting. You came out... You were tagged and you made a film. Yeah, so most of the film was uh, filmed whilst I was on tag. Actually, you know, being in these studios feels like, uh, it, I feel like a soldier in enemy territory and, and that's uh, the kind of preparation I've taken because I, I see this as the propaganda centre of of empire, really. So um, the journey, the, the way the journey took place was the BBC asked me to make documentaries and take part in documentaries. I completely refused because I don't want to be part of BBC propaganda and decided to do things independently and I would encourage people to do do that so um, the message that comes out of it is raw it's uncensored and it comes from a real place and it doesn't support the empire it's actually against the empire and uh, the colonial situation that we live in currently was the film backed was it fully funded were you, were you well supported making it? I was supported by community members around me the people around me um, people I know but uh, generally it's, it's been difficult to, to, to get it out because uh, I don't have any funding. I don't have any mainstream support. Um, yeah, I don't have the infrastructure. I've come into this building today and I see all the equipment you've got. I've literally got a camera and mic and a computer and that's all. And I made the whole documentary on my own. So if I can produce that, 
with that equipment it just shows that the BBC is not really doing what it could be doing you know well look what you've achieved you're to be congratulated on that I saw the trailer I thought it was uh, very sort of dark mean moody it had a uh, quite a low mm. soundtrack a bass soundtrack to it mm. um, for those who haven't seen it tell us a little bit about it what's in it so to me the riots represent so much more than just disorder on the streets of London you know it comes back to the the global situation we live in which is a situation of war poverty inequality colonialism etc so the film really touches on all of those things so it spirals it starts from Tottenham and spirals out to talk about the institution of police as an institutionally racist um, and oppressive institution and then goes on to talk about uh, war and colonialism and looting and all those things and the historical looting that's been done uh, by this uh, by Britain and and, and its allies um, and goes on to talk about prison prison as an institution and how that is an oppressive institution and uh, and what that reinforces in, in in society so really it goes from the riots to talk about all these major issues that are, are are to me the key issues so the documentaries that the bbc make don't talk to people in prison or don't talk about the uh, uh prison as a as an institution or what prison does to people so i've highlighted that for example um and that's one of the main focuses uh so it's really looking at at, at the, firstly the real stories and the real emotion that comes out of it but then looking at institutions whether that be media institutions war institutions or or, or the police or prison and you've had some screenings yeah. uh, let's talk about how it was received who, who was the audience what did they say so so i had a big launch night that was on the 16th of march it was attended by a lot of people who were in the documentary so uh, paul gilroy akala uh, imran khan um, and, and so many others that were involved were on the panel. Um, it was a really fiery and energetic night. The, the film so far has, has received fantastic reviews, um, but the reception, whenever I speak to people, the reception, uh, whenever people see the film and I speak to people, the reception is amazing because uh, that conversation needs to be had and it's not being had and so and it's so holistic. So, so people do really warm to it. It just shows that there's so much more space uh, for that kind of message, for, for, for the kind of resistance that comes out of the, the documentary. And if people have missed a screening, uh, they've presumably got an opportunity to see it again? I'll be uh, doing future screenings, uh, both locally in London. I'll, I'm doing a free tour um, in London. Then I'll be taking it uh, around the country and I'm doing some international screenings as well. So if you're in America or, or Canada or Australia or, or Norway, I'm going to soon, you can, you can, you can see it there. But uh, there will be a free uh, a tour of London because I want to, to grow uh, this thing in London and really get people together and get those conversations going and mobilise in a different way rather than it just being about the film and screenings and try to move that conversation forward and push forward with that. How would you sum up the way the film has been done? Done? As you? in made? <laughs> made. It, it was literally just me running around with a camera. You know, I, I edited it in my bedroom. Um, it's as simple as that. There's nothing more complicated to it. And it really shows the power that is in all of our hands. And a lot of the time people like to, to sell themselves to, to major institutions that think can project their voice, such as the BBC. But I think that we have more power in our hands now with the resources we have and the communities that are building. And uh, I would encourage people to, to do it that way, do it independently. Um, and, 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 and that way the message doesn't get sort of, uh, uh, sort of, you know, censored. Well, hopefully as it goes off on this uh, international tour of screenings, I, I want you to tell me, how would you, you, how would you sum up the project, the aim, and in a year's time, where would you like it all to be? <clears throat> Ultimately, in the future, I'd, I'd like to create a media institution because where I found uh, discontent with the current media institutions that exist and the messages they put out and the empire that they support, um, I figure that the only way to get out a, a, a rich and true message of our history and, and, and what is going on is to, to be independent. So ultimately, I want to create a media institution, but I will co continue pushing uh, the, the film. I'll put it out on um, DVD eventually. It'll be out on the internet. I'll do screenings, but I want to create more and more films and create a media institution that can give a voice to people well that's a lot of ambition there we wish you well Faye Malam thanks thank for coming you. in thank you I just want to say a big shout to, to Faz whose wedding I've come back from uh, so and also riotsreframe.com is the website uh, and you can follow on Facebook and Twitter uh, to keep up to date with uh, uh, future screenings